Hello everybody and welcome back to CoinQuest. CoinQuest, of course, the series where I take $25 boxes of pennies like this one and I go through them looking for interesting and valuable coins that I can use to fill in the collection books that I have right here and right here. Now guys, I have this $25 box of pennies here and this, I gotta say, is not an ordinary box. I have two rolls right here with Wheat Penny Reverse Enders, which I'm gonna show you right now. Now, what the heck are Wheat Penny Enders? Well, I'm gonna show you right here, guys. Take a look at this. This is probably not what you're used to seeing on your pennies in everyday life. Hopefully, this is a good sign that this box is gonna have a lot of them. So, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and just rip into these first two rolls and uh, see, first of all, what that Wheat Penny is on the end. I'll just go ahead and reveal the date real quick. So. Gonna rip into this one. The wheat penny is right here, and here is the reverse end of it right there. We'll go ahead and flip that over to see what the date is in three, two, one. All right, guys, so 1955D, we do already have that one in the collection, but that is a nice uh, addition to uh, our growing collection of wheat pennies that I'm finding in the rolls. I'll go ahead and go through this roll uh, manually here just so you guys can see what this kind of looks like. What I'm looking for here is uh, any more wheat enders or anything else interesting. We just got a Canadian right there. That one is a 1974. I know some of you guys don't find as many of these as I do. Uh, I find a ton of them up here in Michigan, though, so it's super fun to look for those. Actually, there's another one right there, another Canadian Ender, or not an Ender, just a, just a coin. Hey guys, that is a 1977. We actually need that one in the collection, so I'll put that one aside, and uh, we'll put that in in just a second, but uh, going through the rest of this roll, I don't see anything else, so we will move on to the next one. Our next Ender right here is a Wheat Penny Ender, number two. This is a really special box, guys. We generally don't find uh, two Enders. It's actually pretty rare just to find one. So I'll grab that off the end there so you can show you guys. This one looks a little bit older. It's probably gonna be older than 55, but we'll see. Three, two, one. All right, so 1950, and actually that's a piece, so we may not have that one. Let me just flip through the, the uh, album here real quick just to see if we have that one or not. And let's see, 1950p. Guys, we do not have this one in the album, so that is gonna go in. Check this out. I'm gonna pull this off here real quick and show you guys. Here's the Penny album, and we have a blank spot for 1950. We already have the D and the S, but we do need the 1950. So guys, out of this roll, I guess it was the last two rolls, we already have two coins that we need in the collection. Let's go ahead and go through the rest of this roll and see if there's anything else in here. It'd be really, oh geez, it just went all over the place. All right, well, we'll still, we'll still uh, take a look here, guys. It just exploded on me. I see a Canadian right here. This one's gonna be in 1965. So that's a, that's a nice looking coin there. I'll put that one aside. I know we don't need that one. Uh, we have quite a few of those, although there are a couple of varieties. But uh, looking through the rest of this roll, doesn't look like there's anything else in that one, guys. So we got the, what was it, 1977 and the 1950 Philadelphia. I'm gonna put those into the album right now. That's a really great start to this box, and uh, we'll see what else we can find in the upcoming rolls. All right, guys, so after two rolls, we're off to a fantastic start. We already got that 1950 right there. That completes our 1950, so we don't need any more of those uh, of the 1950 date. And then I'll move over here to the Canadian album where we just put in that 1977, and that pretty much completes this page, guys. Take a look all we need on this page is that 1988 so we will be looking out for that one guys but that is two coins in just two rolls and it's pretty good for being uh, nine or ten uh, rolls into the series here so guys this is already shaping up to be a really good box I just opened roll number three the very next roll and I saw this wheat penny right here man this thing is looking old guys take a look at this this is looking like it's gonna be the tens or twenties. That you can tell when you see those warm weed ears that this is gonna be an older one. So let's take a look at this, guys. We're gonna flip it in three, two, one. What the heck is the date on that? Oh, so it's not as old as I thought it was gonna be. Actually, guys, it's a 1941. But man, is that thing worn. I'm gonna to have to check the book on that one. I'm not sure uh, if we have that one or not. But let's go through the rest of this roll because some of this stuff was looking kind of old. And I saw an older Canadian uh, actually next to that coin that we just found. So I'll just go through real quick here, see if we can find anything. There's that older looking Canadian right there. Doesn't look like there's anything else, but this one's just gonna be a 1972. So let me just check the book real quick, guys. I'm gonna move that Canadian one out of the way and look for 1941. Do we have it? Do we have it? Yes, we already do have that one, guys. Man, that one fooled me. It looked like it was gonna be a 1910s or 20s, something older, but uh, it's just a super worn down 
1941. I don't see a mint mark on that either, so we will get on to the next roll and see what else we can find. All right, guys, we are on roll five now. I just snagged a weedy that I was going to hold off on showing because it came out face up and it was a pretty common date, 1951D. I've been getting a lot of these, uh, but in this roll, it looked, turned out to be a two wheat roll. There's so many wheat pennies in this box so far, and this one's coming out reverse up and it's looking pretty rough, guys. Take a look at that. That thing almost looks fake. I don't even know what to say about it. It looks like it's been in a fire or something. Um, but uh, actually, it might have some sort of errors going on. Uh, if you look at the top right uh, wheat ear there, there's something going on with that coin. But uh, I'm more interested in finding out what the date is. So we're gonna flip this in three, two, one. Wow, that, there's some weird wheat pennies coming out of this roll, guys. That is a 19, uh, 1945. Almost looked like it was a 1943 copper for a second there. But uh, yeah, I can't tell if that's an error or if this has just been in circulation for a long time. Somebody's messing with it. I don't know what's going on with that coin, guys. Honestly, I'm gonna put that one aside because it's got some weird, look at, look at the shine on it. You see that coming off the light there. Very strange. Uh, I do already have 1945 though, so that's not gonna go in the collection, but uh, really interesting coin right there. So I will put that one to the side and uh, we will keep looking here and see if we can find anything else. All right, I think that's it for the roll, guys. We'll get on to the next one, and I will turn the camera back on when I find something good. All right, guys, this is looking like a pretty good roll here, so I wanted to show you uh, this. The fourth coin in ended up being a 1945. It uh, was showing right up front there. The obverse was showing, so that's gonna be a wee penny. Look at the condition on these old coins, by the way, guys. Check out those weed ears. You can really see everything on them. Uh, these are in some, some nice conditions here. I'd say VF plus. Uh, so that's a nice one right there to pull out. I th I just have a feeling that there's going to be something else in this roll. If not, then uh, then that's too bad. We'll just have to get on to the next one. But I don't know. There was some. There was a lot of uh, interesting looking coins. I thought from the outside here. So we're just going to look through the rest of this. There we go, guys. This is going to be another two wheat roll. Check that out. 1958 Denver. Now that is about as young as a wheat can be, uh, but it does still have some of its luster as a result. Check that out. That is a nice looking wheat penny right there, guys. Very cool. Uh, it's got some toning on the back, so you might not uh, think that it's it's in pristine condition, but that is a, a nice coin right there. And it makes it a two wheat roll. Let's see if we can make it three. I don't think so, guys. So in the last roll, I didn't show this uh, on camera, but I got a young head. It's a 1963, so pretty common young head date right there. Uh, but that's gonna count towards uh, the points on the box as well. So we'll get on to the next one, guys. So in case you're unfamiliar with the series, I wanted to just stop real quickly and take a look at these coin roll hunting placemats, which I've been using throughout the video. Basically what these are is it just shows you all the different types of coins that you can find in your rolls, starting from the Flying Eagle scent, coming all the way up to the Shield scent. We've seen a lot of those today. And uh, also having the Steel scent and these 2009s, which we're on the lookout for, and all kinds of different coins on the bottom here. Flipping it over to the back side, this is what I'm gonna be using to rate how good the box is. Basically whenever I say that's worth five points or that's gonna add points to the score, this is what I'm talking about. And uh, these are really good for competition hunts as well as just scoring these boxes, which I do every single video but uh, basically guys this is a placemat that I designed and you can get it on my website at quinscoins.com if you're interested in using it for yourself in your own penny roll hunting they're very useful especially for uh, just looking at what you need to find looking at what you want to find and uh, if you're a beginner they're definitely going to be useful they're also useful for just picking up the coins and transporting them to another area and I use them for that all the time so guys again if you want to get those they're at my website at quinscoins.com links will be in the description below all right guys I don't know what the heck's going on here I just went like 10 rolls without finding basically anything but uh, we just opened this roll and I saw about the fourth coin in here we have a wheat reverse and I always like to reveal these on camera so I'll give you a look at that looks pretty new pretty standard probably gonna be a common one so we'll go ahead and find out in three two one so yep it's gonna be another 19 58 Denver. We already found one of those in this box and we definitely have that in the collection already. Uh, pretty common wheat penny to find. We'll go ahead and just look through real quickly the rest of this. I'm already seeing a Canadian right there. That's kind of a, a dirty look Canadian right there in 1999. And uh, so we'll take that one out and see if we can find anything else here. Nope, doesn't look like it guys. I just want to show you real quick here 
Uh, I did just find, like in a couple rolls ago, I found another 1977 Canadian. So we go like 10 boxes without finding any 77 Canadians, and then we find two of them in the same box. Kind of interesting, but uh, that one's not as good as that one that we found earlier. So we will put that one to the side and we'll get on to the next roll. All right, guys, a few rolls later, and we just got another Wheat Penny Reverse right here, as you can see, and uh, it's coming out looking real nice. I think this is probably also going to be another common one, but uh, I just wanted to show you that because these Wheat Pennies have been really nice looking. So we'll flip that over and see what the date is it's gonna be a 1957 D very common by the way and uh, so we will just look through the rest of these because that is gonna count for points but we don't need that one in the collection what is going on with that coin <laughs> guys you see some uh, interesting stuff and that's why I wear the glove because some of these coins are really nasty you definitely don't want to be getting that on your hands so we will get on to the next one we're about halfway through and uh, hopefully we can find some really cool stuff in the second half of this box all right guys so I'm a decent amount of rolls later and I got a few things to show you here on this roll just getting down to the end of it and uh, I popped out a few interesting coins here this first one is a wheat penny which I generally wouldn't show but uh, it's in there with a few other ones it's got some uh, bite marks it looks like or maybe some clipper marks something's been uh, going on with that coin somebody messed it up it's just a 1957d though so it's a pretty common coin i'll go ahead and put that one to the side and i want to show you this because this is actually the first 2009 that i was able to find out of this box and uh, if you take a look at the placement here that is going to be this coin right here so these are the 2009s they did something special with the uh the pennies during that year uh, they did a little series that uh, sort of showcased uh, lincoln's life and this is the final step it's called the presidency it is the rarest one and i still need the 2009 denver uh, on this coin right here so we're going to go ahead and flip this over and see if we got it in three two one dang it guys we get the p again so that is just the 2009 plane we're looking for a d right there below the uh, 2009 but uh, that is going to be it for this roll except for this canadian right here is it going to be the lucky 1988 nope it's just a 1969 so uh, we'll go ahead and get on to the next roll we only got about 15 more rolls to go and uh, hopefully we get something good all right guys a couple rolls later and it looks like we're going to get another chance at it let's uh, see here we just got another 2009 presidency and it did come up out Verse side up once again. We're gonna flip this one and hopefully we have the D this time. Three, two, one. Nope, just another Philadelphia. All right, so it's been about 10 rolls now. My phone died and I had to charge it and I was just kind of coin roll hunting uh, while it was charging. I haven't found a whole lot, but I did just recently find this right here, uh, face up. It's another really old looking uh, 1941. So you can see that right there. We already found one of those earlier. I thought it was gonna be way older. And I mean, look at the back of that. You would think that that would be an older one, but uh, another 1941, not a whole lot going on there. But guys, we've actually found like three uh, wheat pennies in the last 10 rolls that I didn't show on camera, but they are all pretty common. There's a 1956 Denver and uh, a 1958 Denver, but we're getting a lot of those, the 56, 58. Um, and then I think there's one more here. This one is just gonna be a 1953 Denver. So we're finding those Denvers pretty easily in the wheat pennies, but we can't get it on that 2009. Uh, we've also found, I think I think it's 364s. We got a bunch of young heads here, guys. So there's uh, two of them and one more right here. And I believe the date on all of those is 1964. So not a whole lot going on there, but that is really interesting uh, to find. Guys, we only have about two more rolls left to go. So I'm just gonna finish this one off and then we'll just go ahead and do the rest of those live because why the heck not? Um, may as well just uh, since you know the phone battery died and I wanted to get some more uh, uh, coin roll hunting in here for you guys. So I'll just go ahead and do the rest of these rolls live and uh, we'll go ahead and talk about uh, what I've been finding in this box and uh, what I'm hoping to find in this roll. So, we're looking for anything old here, guys. Uh, typically, I just kind of go through looking for uh, wheat, wheat backs, and then if I see an older looking front, I'll definitely have to check out the date. We just got a Canadian 1981 right there. Um, so I'll go ahead and put that one aside and we'll keep looking. Guys, I have a theory on this box. I don't think it's a collection dump, but I do think that uh, these are some older coins because let me just bring the camera over here for just a quick second. These are the coins I've been pulling out. All of these coins are like early 70s, late 60s, some of them early 60s even. Like if we take a look here, let me just grab a random one out. These coins that look so good, guys, take a look at this. So like I'm finding a lot of wheat pennies and I'm also finding a lot of really nice looking uh, 70s and 60s coins. So my theory is that uh, these coins aren't a collection dump per se, but I think that a lot of these coins 
uh, had come out of an older grouping of coins. And uh, so we're having some pretty good luck here. Of course, they always get mixed in with a whole bunch of, uh, of uh, newer coins as well, like this 2009 here that I just pulled out. It's got some nice toning on it, but it's, uh, it's in pretty rough shape overall. Still gonna count for one point on the box. I will put that one aside, and then we will go ahead and get into our last roll right here. So this is going to be the last one in the box, and uh, hopefully we can get something good out of it. We typically don't have the best luck with the last roll of the box, but uh, got my, oh guys, check that out, look at that. That is awesome, guys, look at that. We just got a, a 1950s Canadian coin, I think. Do we even have that one in the collection? I'm not sure. 58, yes, we do have that one, but look at the toning on that. The very last roll in the box, and it comes out 1958 young head. That is an awesome find, especially for the last roll. Let's see if we got anything else in this last roll for you guys to check out. Make sure it's focused so you can see that. Just looking for any, check it out guys. That's exactly what I was gonna say. We're looking for any wheat backs. So I'll grab this one and we'll take a look guys. We got a 1958 young head and a wheat back coming out on this last roll. Really nice looking coin there. Let's go ahead and flip it in three, two. I lost it. <laughs> It slipped out of my fingers there, guys. Sorry about that. Uh, there it is. Just found it. So it is a 1955 Denver. Not going to be a super uh, rare coin there, but definitely a cool find for the last roll, especially next to a 1958 young head. Very cool and some really nice toning on that. Now, guys, I don't think we have anything left uh, in this roll, but we'll just go ahead and take a quick peek here. No freaking way, guys. Are you kidding me? We got two wheat cents and a young head on the last roll. Check this out. Just found this one. It was like the last coin in the roll, too. Check this out, guys. If we can get it to focus. It's an older looking one. Hopefully, it's not going to be another 1941. Let's flip it over in three, two, one. 1944 San Francisco. So, guys, we do already have that. Uh, but that is one that we haven't found on this box yet, and it's a decent looking coin. The back side is looking a little bit rough, but I do like the front side, and I also like that it's a San Francisco because we don't get a whole lot of those uh, in this part of the country. So, guys, that is it for the box. We're going to go ahead and get into a wrap-up and see what we got for this box. So, guys, in today's box, we were able to get 16 common wheat pennies, 5 young heads, and 6 2009s plus the one 1950 that we put into the book. That comes out to a total score of 116 points on today's box. A very good box, like I always say, anything over 100 is good, and this was especially good. We didn't get anything super rare, but we got a ton, a huge volume of wheat pennies. This was by far the best uh, wheat penny box that we've had in the series, with I think 16, I guess it was 17 wheat pennies, now that I think about it, because we got that one in the book, so almost 20, guys. That is, that is an awesome score. So once again, guys, just real quick, if you want to get these coin wrong, hunting placemats for yourself, head on over to my website at quinscoins.com. Links are in the description below and they should be on screen as well. With that being said guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to go down below and leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you're new. And as always guys, my name is Quinn and this is Quince Coins signing out and I will see you in the next one.